If you're somebody that's struggling right now in your life, you're not where you want to be. Chances are you're living in denial. Chances are you're putting it off till tomorrow. Chances are you're making excuses. You got to cut that shit off right now. You got to be willing to raise your hand, do a video on social media, go tell your friends, go tell your family, and then stick to it, okay? If you're one of those people that are willing to raise your hand, you're willing to put it out there to the world, you have to follow through with action. Don't be one of those people that say you're going to do something, and then you go back to your old ways. Welcome back to another episode of the Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. I'm your host, Shawn Michael Crane. Shout out Wonder Mouse Productions. We're down here at the studio in Pierpont. Going to bring some fire. So in this episode, I want to talk about ownership. Ownership of your life, ownership of your results, and really how to change your life if you're not happy with those results. One of the things that changed my life the most was honesty with self. For the longest time, I was in denial. I didn't want to face the truth of what my life had come to, so I ran from the truth. I ran from it for so long and I used drugs and alcohol to numb myself for so long that a decade of life passed me by. A whole decade, 10 years of my life passed me by where I was just living in denial, hoping my problems would go away, hoping you know these things would remedy themselves, that suddenly I would just become someone I was proud of overnight without putting in any effort. And it didn't work that way. I was getting worse and worse and worse. My drug habit was getting stronger. I was getting older. You know That window of time was collapsing where I could actually do something productive with my life. And, you know, what happens is when this time passes, your belief in self starts to deteriorate. Every day you're not taking action that makes you proud of who you are, you start to doubt yourself that much more. And your subconscious mind is always keeping score. If you do the right thing, your subconscious mind knows. If you do the wrong thing, your subconscious mind knows. Your life is literally an accumulation of those scores. So if you're not showing up for yourself every single day and 10 years goes by, what is taking place internally? that you don't believe in yourself, that you haven't been showing up, so you, you're you not capable, that you're not good enough. And like when you don't feel good enough or when you're not taking action, it's the worst feeling because internally you just don't feel whole. There's like a void or something that's missing inside of you. And that void can be filled by simple action every day that aligns to who you want to be. That's it. And so what is the void filled with? It's filled with self-love, with gratitude, like with joy, right? And those are the most purest emotions we can experience in life. Then you get to share those emotions with others. But we all know somebody who's unhappy with themselves. They're abusing themselves. They're sabotaging themselves. And you see how they treat others, right? Because they don't have joy to give. They have no love inside of them. They haven't cultivated that feeling or emotion. So how could they give it to someone else? So if you're a parent or you have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, a husband, a wife, if you're at, at work, you have colleagues, like, do you want to have a positive impact on people or do you want to have a negative impact? If you want to have a positive impact on people, that means you have to take care of yourself first and foremost. Right. And so this all starts with you being honest about who you are and how you're living. And I was um, actually <clears throat> downtown Santa Barbara yesterday. And this is where this thought process stems from. I went and met my uncle and we were smoking a cigar down there. There's a cigar lounge and he called me up. He's like, hey, I finished work early today. He runs a business here in town. Uh, come down. I want to chat with you. And my uncle Mark, he's a mentor, a father figure. He was the guy who I would call when I was in jail, when I was having a bad day, when I needed like a lifeline. You know what I mean? We've all been there. We're having a bad day. Depression's eating away at us. Fear, doubt, all these negative internal emotions, irritability, anger. We don't know what's going on. You probably have that person you call, you want to go see, right? A lot of times it's like our moms or our dads, uh, maybe a grandparent or a friend, or maybe it's your spouse. For me, it was my Uncle Mark. I didn't have anyone, man. I was in prison. I was in jail all by myself. And so when I'd get the chance to use the phone, I'd call him. And just hearing his voice and like the strength, right, and the, the conviction that he had and who he was and how he was living, like he represented everything that I wanted to be in a man. He was a, a leader for his family. He's strong. He ran his business. He just always held a standard that was admirable. And I love that about him. I respected that. I want to be like him. So I'd call him and we'd talk, man, and I'd tell him about, what I was doing in prison to better myself. I'd tell him about who I was becoming, what I was going to do when I got out. And I was just keeping that vision alive, you know? I had to act upon it, but I had to speak it into existence. I had to believe in it to the point where I was telling other people. And I wasn't scared to share my truth. But I wasn't always that way. I had to work to get to that point. I had to work up the courage to be able to articulate those words. Because can you imagine being in prison? You know, you have three years left. And you're telling your uncle on the other line who has never seen you succeed in life because you've never shown him what you're capable that you're going to come home and do great and amazing things. And you're going to be this exceptional human being. Like I would get on the phone and I would just go right into this dialogue every single time about who I was going to be, what I was going to do, how bad I wanted it. And I had to breathe life into that person every chance that I got. Every letter home, every phone call, I was just consciously manifesting that person back then. Um, but there was a time in my life where I never would speak that truth to people. 
I never would tell them who I wanted to be and what I wanted in life because I was scared. I was scared and I thought that, you know, I was not capable to do those things. So instead, I just suppressed my truth. I suppressed my feelings. I held it all in. And because of that, it led to actions and behaviors that made me a person I wasn't proud of, a person I didn't even like, a person that I was constantly trying to numb myself from experiencing. You know what I mean? Like I would numb myself to such an extent I forgot who I'd become. So I could just go through my day and live in denial. Now, how many of you listening to this right now fit that category? Like you check that box. You're going through your day trying to escape reality because you're not happy with who you are and the life you're living. If that's you, I want you to know that I've been there and it's miserable and it's never going to end until you make a choice to change. So the first step in you changing is being honest about that predicament. Okay. You have to be honest with yourself and you literally have to look in the mirror and say, man, you're f-ing better than this. Like you're better than this. You're capable of more. And then you have to start doing things every day that shift who you are. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because we were in the cigar shop, my Uncle Mark and I yesterday, and he was talking and we were just getting into this banter and this dialogue about uh, leadership, about the status of our country, just all kinds of things. And there was a younger guy in there. He was actually the one who was in charge of the cigar shop. And he was in the corner talking with a friend. And this guy just looked disheveled. He was fat and out of shape. His body language was like, you know, low confidence. He just looked sloppy. And he got all uncomfortable when we were talking. He like kind of distracted my Uncle Mark and I and kind of made some noise and tried to shift the rhetoric of the conversation. And we didn't really say anything. We knew what he was doing. But um, it just got me thinking like, man, that guy felt so uncomfortable over there because my Uncle Mark and I were talking about like success in life and like showing up as a leader for your family and all the things that I share on this podcast. Uh, how to be a real man, like set that damn standard as a real man in this country. So many people aren't doing that right now. They're not living up to the standard. And so as we went into this dialogue, this guy got very uncomfortable. His body language was shifty. His energy was all weird. And like, then he got up and made a bunch of commotion. And I just thought, man, that guy was so uncomfortable by the dialogue because it, it made him feel a certain way about himself. You know, when people project or like they act outwardly like that, it's because they don't like the way it's making them feel. So they project onto others or they act out in a certain way. It's a distraction. It's a defense mechanism. So I thought, man, imagine if this guy was just willing to be honest right now with himself and like talk about the changes he wanted to make and and really take ownership of his life, how that could shift his thinking and his behavior going forward and how he could actually get to a place in life that he was proud of. Most people's problem is they think that if they're not where they need to be right now, that that makes them bad or not good enough or less than. But in reality, you're always a work in progress. If you're not where you want to be in life right now, it doesn't mean you're less than. It just means that's where you are in this phase of life or this chapter of life. Now, where you're at right now doesn't mean you have to be there next year or in five years. You can change. But if you're not willing to be honest about your current situation, whether it's finances, whether it's relationships, whether it's your health, maybe you're like using drugs and alcohol too much, or you're doing these things that you feel bad about. If you're not willing to acknowledge those and be honest and literally like raise your hand, like in AA and be like, I'm a fucking alcoholic or I overeat food or you know what? I'm being fat and lazy. I'm not happy with the way my body looks. I don't have energy. I don't have confidence. I'm ready to do something about it. Like if you're not willing to be honest and raise your hand and take acknowledgement and take ownership of your life. How do you expect things to change? Things will never change until you're willing to take ownership, admit your faults, admit your wrongs, and then do something about it. And you have to know that just because you've messed up in the past, just because you don't have the results you want right now, doesn't mean in a year from now, you can't have completely different results. But the difference between where you're at now and where you want to be is honesty, acceptance, ownership of life, and then a new plan or a new course of action. Honesty is the catalyst that allows you to then change your thinking and your behavior. Ownership of your current predicament and where you're at in life is the catalyst that then allows you to make a change, take back control of your life, and create the outcomes that you want. So if you're somebody that's struggling right now in your life, you're not where you want to be, chances are you're living in denial. Chances are you're putting it off till tomorrow. Chances are you're making excuses. You got to cut that shit off right now. You got to be willing to raise your hand, do a video on social media, go tell your friends, go tell your family, and then stick to it, okay? If you're one of those people that are willing to raise your hand, you're willing to put it out there to the world, you have to follow through with action. Don't be one of those people that say you're gonna do something and then you go back to your old ways. I promise you, if you start to take ownership of your life, if you're honest with yourself first and foremost, and then with the people around you, and you're willing to articulate your truth and acknowledge it and own it and breathe life into that person every day, in a year from now, your whole life will be better. I'm Shawn Michael Crane, Unstoppable Mindset Podcast. Let's go crush it.